All right, so there we go. We've tacked in the new capacitor in there. Soldered it, soldered it off to the side a little bit so that we've got easy access next time this capacitor fails in, I don't know, maybe four years. And we'll just tack another one in there because it's nice and easily accessible. And off we go, and the printer will work. So let's just uh, turn it back over. Make plenty of old man sounds. Cord. Tiger in. Oh, and straight away, we don't even have to push the button, it just works. So we'll let that boot up. Um, let's turn her off. Ding dong. Turn her on. Ah, look at that, it works perfectly. Uh, if I was a uh, tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist, I would say that this is a bit of clever engineering that other engineers have come up with so that people go oh my printer's dead I gotta go buy a new printer and I've had the printer three to four years and this clever little device stops your printer from working well guess what I do like to wear tinfoil hats <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah that's it for today and uh, if you want the uh, capacitor, if you can't get it locally where you live, more than happy to post them out worldwide. Just uh, head over to my website. So that's today's repair. I'm sure there'll be plenty more to follow. See you later.